Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with Janelle Fan TV, man. Back at you on this video. The content is video. Go ahead and smash that like button. The content is channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look. All right, it's been a minute since we did one of these Raven training camp practices, kind of updates. Uh, but Raven training camp, day 21, as far as being on the field, uh, happened. And it seemed like they didn't do too much today, not too many highlights to report on. But we will talk about the injuries, talk about some of the players' uh, post practice uh, press conference. And that's uh, so it might be a little bit shorter video today. So let, let's just get right into it, all right? Now, people who are out. Tyler Huntley, Shamar Bridges, Mark Andrews, uh, Malik Ham, Pepe Williams, Geno Stone, Marlon Humphrey. All right, now, Tyler Huntley saw out with the same thing, the hamstring tweet. Uh, Shamar Bridges has a sprained knee. Uh, Mark Andrews, Harbaugh said it's not serious at the moment, so I guess it's playing that precautionary. Uh, don't know what happened to Malik Ham. Pepe Williams, we know he's been having that lingering ankle problem from before camp started, got worse during camp. Uh, Geno Stone said he's dealing with some ankle, some lingering ankle soreness, so that's why he's still out. And we know Obama Humphrey just had surgery. All right. Now, as far as people who came back to practice, uh, big news: uh, Rocky Seen returned to practice. The Ravens' uh, number two corner, who they signed uh, this offseason, obviously from the Oakland Raiders, Oakland, the Las Vegas Raiders. Excuse me. <laughs> um, he returned out there, so that's big news for the Ravens. Um, I said that if the Ravens can get to week one and it's Ronald Darby on one side and Rocky Scene on the other side and say our Darius Washington playing the slot, I feel better than I what than I felt maybe last week, right? Um, so I will be okay if that's the three that roll out there week one. I would feel good about that, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, Arthur Marlette uh, picked him up from the Steelers. Uh, he returned to practice. And uh, Sean Ryan, a, a standout um, undrafted wide receiver, uh, 6'4 guy, 215. He's been playing well. Uh, the reason he got injured because he made a play. You know, he made a play. I think it was Josh Johnson threw like a jump ball kind of thing. He went over top of Tay Hayes, who caught an interception in the game. Uh, but anyway, this was in practice. He went over top of Tay Hayes and uh, caught the pass for Landon Bell awkwardly on his shoulder. He's been out since then. I think that might have been like last mm, Thursday, Friday, something like that. I can't remember exactly. But he's back today. So that's good for him. Gets to compete. And uh, try to make this Ravens practice squad. Uh, we kind of talked about wide receiver six. I think that's going to Tyler Wallace right now. We'll see if Laquan Trewell can have a response. You know what I mean? He's kind of been banged up a little bit. But Tyler Wallace has caught touchdowns in back-to-back -back games. And he gives you special teams uh, capability. All right. So, that's your injury report right there. So, good news on Rocket scene. Good news on Arthur Muller. And get to see some more for Sean Ryan. All right. Um, now, Mark Andrews, hopefully, like Harbaugh said, it's not serious. And we can just... Um, get Mark Andrews back as soon as possible. But, you know, right now, there's, there's no rush. But hopefully, you know, it's okay. All right. And then, really only one highlight from practice. Uh, Sean Bateman, who's been working his way back from injury, uh, starting to practice more and more. He had his first one-on-one -on -one today. He went he went against Ronald Darby, and he beat Ronald Darby down the field for a 40-yard touchdown. So, uh, that's great news. To me, this doesn't say anything about Ronald Darby. Rashad Bateman is one of the better receivers on the Ravens. Fans can be um, upset and patient about his injury history. That's fine. But there's no denying that when he plays, he's a good NFL player. He's a good NFL wide receiver. Um, so Ronald Darby getting beat by him doesn't mean much to me. To me, it says more about Rashad Bateman getting closer and closer to being healthy. Uh, now his post-practice presser, he said that um, he feels 99% healthy, right? Now, what is it? What is it going to take him to get to that one percent uh, to make it hundred percent? I don't know. Maybe you're never truly a hundred percent, right? Uh, but that's what he said. There's other things from John Harbaugh. They won't announce who's going to be the, the starter at left guard. But John Simpson has been the leader in the clubhouse. He's been the favorite. He's been the starter since probably like the second week of training camp or the second week of um, yeah, like the second week of training camp, something like that. They, him and uh, Salo's all training back and forth. They've kind of just stuck with John Simpson at this point. And it's well-deserved. He's played well in the preseason game. So, um, Harbaugh won't announce it uh, probably until you, he at, literally has to announce it when you do the depth chart. But for right now, um, the favorite, the starter, is looking like it's going to be John Simpson, right? All right. Now, something interesting that Harbaugh said is that Lamar Jackson wants to play in the preseason finale. Harbaugh wouldn't give an answer whether or not he's going to allow Lamar Jackson to play. He just said Lamar Jackson wants to play. Um... Now, this is this is difficult, right? Because in one token, you got a team like the Chiefs. I believe the Chiefs played their starters a lot in preseason um, or, or, or at least, you know, out there for a little while to get, to get some rhythm, get some feel. Um, but then on the other side, there's uh, the Commandos who played against the Ravens, 
played their starters most of the first half, or well, really all the first half, and Terry McLaurin ends up getting injured. Now it's football. You can get injured any in play, you know. Lamar get injured, we won, whatever, you know. Fingers crossed, all that. But, um, you know, well, they say Terry McLaurin's going to be okay. I want to say that too. So hopefully, you know, he's out there week one for the commanders. But anyway, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Um, if Lamar really wants to play and just get out there for the feel of it, I wouldn't mind giving him a driver too. Um, you know, obviously, no no QB run game unless he's like, you know, he has to scramble to make something happen. Uh, but just something to get him a feel of playing against, you know, live pressure. I, I I can see it being a good thing for a driver, too. Kind of like how Zay Flowers is rolled out there. I know he's a rookie, so it's different. But Zay Flowers played one drive versus the uh, Commanders. Played well in that drive. That's all we needed to see. So if Lamar Jackson can do the same thing, play one drive, play well, that's all we need to see. I'm cool with it. So, um and also, J.K. Dobbins, last thing I'm going to talk about. J.K. Dobbins talked to the presser. He said that he sat out, began the training camp for precautionary reasons, just to play it safe. Uh, he used the word caution multiple times. He said he loves the Ravens with the end of his career here. All right, so I don't think there's really any uh, uh, tension or drama. He says that him and Eric, Eric DaCosta, call Eric DaCosta the best GM in the NFL. So I don't think there's any drama between him and Eric DaCosta. They're good. J.K. Dobbins wants to be a Raven. That's what he's saying right now. We'll see how. We'll see what happens with contracts get off and things like that. But... I don't think there's really any contract drama going on with J.K. Dobbins. So that's the Ravens report for today. You know, some guys coming back, Rocky Seen, uh, Marlette, uh, Sean Ryan. Then hopefully, you know, it's just a minor injury to Mark Andrews. So uh, if you this point of view, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Man, more Ravens content to come. It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.